Hey YouTube, I'm Jason, and I'm going to tell you what you need to have to rent a car in Japan. Now, if you're interested in driving the cars, you have to come here with a couple things. One, you need your driver's license from wherever you're at. You need a international driver's license, and you also need your insurance and your passport. Before you leave your country, you have to apply for an international driver's permit. If you live in America, I recommend signing up and using a AAA membership. First, you're gonna have to take passport style photos and you need two copies of those. After you get the photos done, take it to your local AAA office and fill out the international driver's permit form. Submit the paperwork and pay the fee. The international driver's permit lasts one year and it costs $20. You can apply for multiple countries on the same permit. I went two days before I flew out, had no appointment and it took me less than 30 minutes to get my permit. But I do recommend that you do this in advance. A full car inspection is due before signing it. Check the car for existing damages, dents, scratches, and overall condition. Report it to the staff and document it on the forms. I make it a habit to take photos and videos of all my rentals. It just makes things easier to refer to if needed in the future. Now let's talk about the rental car range. It all depends on where you're renting from. A private car rental company like Mr. Heroes in Osaka has a limit on how far you can drive. If you go to more common car rental companies like Toyota, they typically have an unlimited range. An added bonus to going to like Toyota is that you can return the car at different locations. So if you wanted to drive from Tokyo to Osaka, you can definitely reserve a vehicle to do that. I personally drove from Yokohama to Tokyo and it was well worth it. There's a minimum coverage for insurance. For travelers who have insurance through credit cards, there is still an additional fee for full coverage insurance. The insurance you have for cars back home in America doesn't count for driving in Japan. Either way you think of it, you have to pay for insurance to enjoy driving in Japan. So trust me, it's necessary. ETC is an abbreviation for Electronic Toll Collection System. ETC is a system which allows drivers to automatically pay for toll roads without stopping at the toll gates. It's like fast track for America. The toll fees accumulated will be due when you return the car. Opting for an ETC card is not mandatory, but if you don't offer an ETC card, then you'll have to stop at each toll road and pay in cash. From my experience, I can say having an ETC card was much faster, especially in the city area. I would also recommend using a phone cord. Some of the cars have Apple Play and Bluetooth, but the cars are usually set in Japanese. Most rental cars have GPS, but I would recommend using your phone with Google Maps. I tried Waze in Japan and it wasn't as accurate as Google Maps. The car's GPS weren't as helpful to me as my phone. Car GPS's can be set to English and aren't bad to use, but using my phone was just ultimately faster. As you know, a phone cord allows you to play your own music, making the ride more enjoyable while charging your phone. If you happen to get in an accident or notice that the car has been hit, you have to call the local police within one hour and report the incident. Whether the damage is small or big, you must report the damage or else insurance won't cover the damage. In case of emergencies, dial 119 for help and dial 110 to report an accident to the police. When you go to return your rental, you have to return it with a full tank of fuel. You don't have to speak Japanese to understand how to fill up the gas. Most gas stations actually have employees that help you pump and you don't even have to leave the car. Also, just be aware of the type of fuel the vehicle requires. The attendant will actually ask you and verify before they start pumping. I made this video for viewers who kept asking me advice about this. I hope it was helpful and please leave a comment below for any specific video you'd like to see in the future.